We're used to hearing about Habitat for Humanity, helping people move into homes of their own for the first time. But today in Omaha, volunteers train to make sure they're also able to help people get back into their homes after a natural disaster. Reporter Shannon Wilson has more. In this North Omaha home, Volunteers are gutting away from the inside out. But we're going through these homes, destroying certain parts of it that need to be removed so that that home or that structure is ready to be rebuilt. Habitat for Humanity and Team Rubicon gathered here from across the country to conduct a full-scale disaster simulation. This exercise trains volunteers to help after a natural disaster. Let's say if this was a disaster today, You'd want people trained to be able to get onto the spot with the proper tools, with the proper training, and to be able to do the right thing. Team Rubicon consists of 100 retired military volunteers who were trained to use chainsaws and other machinery to demolish the inside of the home. We'll end up uh, coming in and sanding it down and refinishing it. Habitat for Humanity will then renovate the home. If something ever does happen around here, hopefully it doesn't, that we'll be able to jump in and help out. Tornadoes, earthquakes, and hurricanes are no match for these teams. Shannon Wilson, KMTV Action 3 News. And both, or both organizations say they respond to disasters nationwide and even worldwide. Political candidates have been turning up the heat on each other with more and more negative campaigning. But now some wonder if anybody is nice enough to win a